we have a tweet, Twitter question from Napa Wine Guy, and he asks, what was it like to make wine for Jess Jackson? Oh, it's a good question. Um, I, 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 I was privileged to have known Jess. Um, here's a man, you know, in, in the wine industry, especially in Napa, you get a lot of billionaires. Uh, out here and a lot of multi multi millionaires and these people are making money all around the country selling shoes making i beams uh, concrete whatever and then they come to Napa to realize their dream and, and buy a vineyard and they put a label together Jess made his money in the wine industry he started with a small vineyard in Lake County and built it up and and he got to I don't recall which harvest it was seventy six or seventy seven. Um, he was selling his grapes to Robert Mandavi, and they they had too much. There was a big harvest. He didn't need just his grapes, so he just put the wine together himself and launched what became a, an enormous uh, constituency in wines. Um, he was he was a true visionary. He uh, he was a brilliant man. Uh, he saw things five steps uh, in the wine industry before anybody else did. And he would t have us do things, and we'd go all look at him like, "Come on, <laughs> man, do it! You're gonna do it!" And we would go ahead and do it. And three or four years later, we'd be like, "Yeah, we did yeah, that." That's right, man. Man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Just, just was that kind of a guy. Um, he was a he was a, you know he was very demanding. Um, in, a, in a good way, uh, he had to be. Uh, he expected a lot of us, but also in the same breath, he gave us a lot of tools. Um, you know, he he never ever cut quality, quantity or quality, he, especially with these wines. What we needed to produce the very best wines in the world, uh, we had the ability to do that from a vineyard standpoint and from a uh, a winery standpoint. And in particular, just had a real eye for the land. I mean, he could pick out a piece of I mean, look at the two of the best vineyards in Napa Valley. The Keys Vineyard, which used to be the Lipper River in Howe Mountain, and our Veter Peak Vineyard, which is an absolutely stunning vineyard up on, on Mount Veter. These these vineyards, and he just he just saw it and knew it and bought it. Um, it's, it's nice to work with somebody like that and to, and to learn from him. I learned a lot from the guy. I miss him because uh, he, he was a true presence and a true leader. Uh, and... Um, these wines are a testament to, to the things that he uh, that he set out to do.